you still want to get out of a bad cycle you need to expect the unexpected you know a lot of times we have this whole idea you know i'm gonna change you know resolutions i'm gonna do better i'm gonna do a b c d but then again um, we forget to be realistic and uh, you know just expect you know xyz might just happen and of which most of the times you know such things do happen you'll face some resistance you'll have some people will start shaming you for who you were and some people will be telling you ah there's no way you can change you're like this there's no way you can become better there's no way you can do better you're gonna face a lot of resistance you're gonna face some shaming some people are going to be guilt tripping you and reminding you of your then because they don't want you to change because hey i say this Sometimes when it comes to friends, not all your friends are good friends to you. Some of them, they're friends with you because of the level you're at. And if you ever try to do better and, uh, you know, just do make the right choices for your life, they're going to bounce because they can only accommodate and tolerate you at that level. But the moment you start expanding and, you know, building your mind, building your capacity, then they start walking away. Why? Because they feel threatened and they're like, they don't want you to do better. Because if you do better, you become a threat to them. So the fact that you're the way you are, then they're comfortable with you being and remaining like that. So they'll cheer for you and clap for you when you're doing whatever you're doing. But when you start to make significant changes, you'll feel the resistance. You'll feel the shaming. You're going to feel them like teasing you here and there. You know, it's those two funny, funny jokes, to dark jokes, to dark humors, you know, trying to just bring you down and put you down in a way that they're not really straightforward about it. But that's their main intention. They don't want you to do better. They don't want you to change. They don't want you to stop using those drugs. They don't want you to stop being the kind of a person that you are. They don't want you to just do better. They just want you to remain the same because that's where they can tolerate you. But if you start moving different, they'll feel threatened by you. So always expect the unexpected. People are going to remind you of who you are. But then again, let God define who you are because you are his child. And he's going to take you to where he needs to take you. Oh, and yes, do expect some negativity. Hey, <laughs> my guy, you're going to face a lot of negativity. There are people who are going to be naysayers. There are people who are going to be, you know, prophets of doom and tell you you're not going to make it until the end. It's a hard journey. It's a what? But no one said this journey is going to be easy. But I'm going to promise you it's going to be worth it in the end. So press on, press on. When you hear the negative vibes, you know, you just close that ear and open this other one and be like positivity come in come in come in so sometimes that's what you need to do expect the unexpected and um just be aware it's not going to be an easy journey you know sometimes it's good to be realistic the journey is not easy coming out of addiction is not going to be easy you're going to get tempted you're going to feel like you want to you know um go back to the way you are because that's what you knew and that was that feels familiar and it feels safe and it's comfortable but remind yourself of the bigger picture then again, you go back to the why. Why do you want to change? And how willing are you to change? When you expect the unexpected, well, we survive, right? So nothing comes as a shocker. They hate you like, yeah, I expected that. You know, naysayers, yeah, I did expect that as well. Um, you know, you are just going to slip back into your old ways. Yep, I expected you'll say that. So it doesn't come as a shock. So you keep pressing on. So, you know, you can get out of that bad cycle. Always expect the unexpected. So nothing comes as a surprise and nothing shocks you or, you know, makes you fall off the wagon. But if you fall, you know, pick yourself up, get back on track and keep pressing on.